Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah, and we are going to be talking to you about British humour. Someone's been telling us to speak slower. So we will. We're an intermediate channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so if you're a beginner, don't watch our videos. We'll link you to like a kid's channel below. <laughs> so mean. No, it's mean. See, we don't mean that. That's a sense of humour. <laughs> Before we get started, don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. We post videos every week. And please click on the bell. I don't know where it is. But <laughs> we'll <laughs> but show you on the screen uh, somewhere, now. <laughs> somewhere on the screen. Apparently, it does all the good things. British humour is something that is so much a part of British people. It's It would be silly to ignore it on this channel. Yeah. As you can tell, we are very funny ourselves. Um, <laughs> but quite often, I think our humour doesn't come across, especially when a viewer isn't from the UK. And even just the way you said that, yeah. then, like apo <laughs> apologising for like we are a little bit funny, yeah. aren't we? Aren't we? Uh, love aren't we? Love me. Like love I know. Me. it's like your classic kind of. If anyone wants to watch some like really sort of self-deprecating humour or stand up, watch like Simon Amstel. Mm -hmm. um, what would you describe that? It's like awkwardness. That's funny. Mm -hmm. That's also sort of like self-deprecating because you're constantly sort of apologising for yourself being British. I've got a friend who does it all the time. That's, you've mentioned it, self-deprecating. We yeah. like to poke fun at each other and ourselves. Self. So it's seen as mean, I guess, to some people, but most British people make fun of each other. Some people might call it self-sabotage, mm -hmm. but British people just see it as part of their identity. Yeah. Um, there's a really good Twitter account that I think captures this so well. Mm -hmm. I think it's called Very British Problems. Yeah, that's good. We're going to put loads of links in the description actually yeah. to anything we refer to in the video. Mm -hmm. We all say we can afford to be a bit more American and a bit more bold and a bit more kind of like stop apologising for yourself. It's just mm -hmm. part of like British identity. So that's one thing I noticed. I was thinking about it and there's a TV series in the UK that's finished now called Miranda where Miranda Hart is the star of it mm. and that whole premise of that series pretty much is Miranda making fun of the fact that she's fat and she's big and she's clumsy and tall. And I was thinking, actually in America, if you take girls, which you can't compare it really, but Lena Dunham essentially is just being like, I'm, I'm being fat it. and I'm embracing it and I, I'm allowed to be fat, even though she's not that fat, but I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger woman and that's great. Whereas British sense of humor is, oh, I'm fat and I'm ugly and I'm like, Yeah, yeah, it's, you're it's so right. really like, weird. The American sense of humor would be to just own what you are. Yeah. But the British one would be, to just keep, how many jokes can you think of about yeah. being tall and a bit yeah. large and big boned? Mm, like definitely. more, more. Is there yeah. push it further? Mm. Yeah, it's weird. And like lots of comedians. I remember one comedian, my, one of my favourites, Shafi Corsandi. And I remember she started her one of her stand ups saying about how she ticks every box of a minority. She was like, I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm uh, like Iranian yeah, and like yeah. a comedian and all these things. And it was like, I think lots of British humour is picking things in yourself and being like, okay what are my weaknesses or yeah. what are bad things about me that I can like turn into a joke. She's like the BBC's wet dream in terms yeah. of box ticking. <laughs> She's just it's absolutely so everything like... <laughs> dick, 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 dick. <laughs> There's not necessarily a right way and a wrong way of doing things. This is no. just what we've noticed is the British way. Also, it does change like... I think American humour is getting a bit more British and also British humour is getting a bit more American. Lots of British humour is now trying to be more American because obviously American comedy is very popular. Even over here we really love it. And that's where the money's, um, money's at. And where the money is. And even in America I think they're getting like... When you watch old SNL clips, you do see them a bit like looking to camera like, ooh, but I've said a funny line. Whereas in the UK that doesn't happen. But now you watch SNL and they are a bit more like, what I've said is really serious, even though it's not. Like they are more, yeah. they're better at doing deadpan. It's really true, and even in British stuff like um, Fleabag, which you know is a, an incredible like British like would you call it like a tragedy and a comedy? Yeah, it's like, it's like, a, like a tragic, tragic comedy. comedy. Um, great series on BBC. She often breaks the fourth wall, which is like mm. really American, and she will yeah. just say this is the scene, and we're in a coffee mm. shop. She'll literally just turn to camera and deliver her in a monologue to mm. camera, which is so. Like, it's just rare to find. I think it was yeah. like a breath of fresh air for British comedy because we were all like, oh my God, this is great. So with British humour, you've also got like the deadpan thing mm -hmm. going on. Even just talking to friends in a social situation in the UK, it's not unusual for someone to deliver a line of speech with no emotion whatsoever attached to it as a way of making everyone laugh. That's true. Like if you've gone through something really bad, like 
uh, an annoying experience and you deliver it like that. And then someone goes, brilliant. Yeah. Br like they'll just say something, so something awful's happened, or yeah. something brilliant, something great's happened, or just any, a way, as a way of undermining whatever's just happened, uh -huh. someone will say something in a really deadpan way. Yeah. D with deadpan, I think it'd be important for, to remember, if you're not British and you're speaking to someone who is, and if they are to use like a sarcastic deadpan response in in you know in response to something you say, if they're to be sarcastic or deadpan, mm -hmm. it's just never take that personally. No, no, and I don't know about your culture because I I have some friends, uh, two Polish friends of mine. Both of them speak English as a second language, and both of them are so sarcastic and so funny. And I remember saying to them like, how no no offense, but how are you this funny? and using sarcasm when you don't even British. speak English completely fluently. And so it might be because in Poland, maybe sarcasm is a thing over there as well. So just interested to know, like, in what countries is, do we share the same sort of comedy? It's certainly or... not that way in Greece. There's really? none of it. Yeah, yeah, there's not really, like, sarcasm or... Their, their like, level of humour is, like, horrific. As in, like, they it's get It's literally, laugh like, poo jokes. Oh, really? Or, like, yeah. sex jokes or, like, mm. misogynist. It's awful. Like, mm. I'd rather not associate myself with it. <laughs> Hence why there's no, like, super famous Greek comedians or yeah. Greek kind of... You know, I think the fun in that comedy would come from taking an English person or an American yeah. taking the piss out of Greek the culture, i.e. Yeah. my big fat Greek wedding. Mm -hmm. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. There's no... So they're the butt of the joke rather than you're laughing at their jokes. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Mm. So... I'd be intrigued to know as well. Yeah. Like, isn't that impressive if someone's coming over here, yeah. learning the language, and then able to meet you on that level of like, mm -hmm. oh, I can, I can be in on this. Like, yeah. like, I can joke with you on that. Like, we were saying over lunch that like England is probably the only country where like a compliment's not really a compliment. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. if someone was to say to you, "That's a yeah, great jacket." Great shirt. That could mean, mean that. anything. That yeah. could mean like that is the most ridiculous shirt I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, a bit like that scene in Mean Girls, actually. American oh, yeah, yeah. where she's like, "Hey, nice skirt." That is the most fugly skirt I've ever seen. But that's the other thing in America. In not necessarily in America, but in that film, they had to They're refer delivery. to the fact like that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Yeah. Whereas in the UK, they would just leave it at like, nice skirt. Nice shirt. Yeah. Yeah, and it would just all and be in the delivery, it, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, whereas like in any other country, if, like in Australia, it's like, hey, nice shirt, mate. They'd be like, oh, cheers, thanks. Like, yeah. thanks for liking my shirt. Not like, nice shirt, <laughs> wanker. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, has that happened to you where someone says a compliment and you're like, Sorry, do you actually mean that? Cause of course, Because I, like, like, I don't know if you're joking, but I really like it, and it's like... We find that we can't often say the things we want to say as jokes because, like, they are quite offensive, or, like, Always. our friends will get the wrong end of the stick and think that we're being mean about them, where actually our sense of humour is just, like... Yeah. Taking the piss, basically. 100%. Piss takers. Absolute piss takers. That's what my dad is saying. He's like, don't taking the piss out of me. Um, that's an exaggeration. Pissed. P-I-T. P-I-S-T. No, I'm not taking the piss. We should explain the word piss taker. Piss taker is to make fun of. To, to Your humour is to make fun of something else, but it's different to being a bully. Bullying is when you... How, the reason it's different is because... Mm -hmm. The intention behind it. Yeah, none, none of your intention is to hurt or to like upset anyone. It's just to like make extract light of extract the funny extract, bit from extract it. Extract the fun and heighten the fun of mm. whatever's like making whatever is yeah. music, whatever's like. The Whereas bullying thing. would be you want to hurt that person's feelings. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then it can backfire because often, sometimes, if you do take the piss out of someone, then their feelings are hurt, which is why we sometimes have to rein it in because so we're like, oh, don't yeah. know if you're gonna respond well to that, so we'll just. Usually people respond well to it. Mm. Um, but not when you first meet them. <laughs> and often often the piss taking is always kind of highlighting the obvious. If there's the if there's an elephant in the room, so to speak, if if the thing everyone's thinking is said, we'll all laugh and relax. Mm. So, you know, I think just when you're around British people, don't ignore the obvious. Yeah. Also another extreme example, just before yeah. we wrap up. Um, a woman outside work the other day was hit by a bus and run over by the front two wheels and was trapped underneath. 
in the end, miraculously, she only had a fractured hip and went to hospital. She's supposedly survived. fine. She survived. About, like, five hours after that, people at work started, like, making a joke, like, relating to that. I can't remember an exact thing. But yeah. then they would also then be like, oh, is that too soon? And most of us would be kind of like, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. think that's a bit too soon. But that's classic, like, British person, like, yeah. trying to take something that was so awful and, like, stressful and turning it into a joke. Yeah. But I think they only turned it into a joke because they knew she was okay. If they, if she died, I don't think anyone, been, no one would yeah. have touched it. No. But because they were like, phew, she only had a fractured hip and she's, like, okay in yeah. hospital, but fine. People were like, okay, maybe I can, like, make a joke about this. Yeah, like, making light of horrific situations mm. is often, like, a survival technique for yeah. Brits. It's, like, the only way to get through it. Yeah. And there's loads of... Um, like really tragic plays that you see that are really, really funny. Mm. Um, yeah, you find that, don't you? Like everything is really heartbreaking and then they ruin the moment by like kicking in a joke, but yeah, then it kind of doesn't ruin it. it no, it yeah, it's like, it. yeah, yeah. And I think that's always the best kind of stuff that you see on stage or on screen. Mm. When you're like, oh my God, this is so tragic, but it's mm. so funny. Yeah. We're a huge paradox yeah. and impossible to understand. We don't really understand ourselves, mm. that's why yeah that's why there's so much comedy definitely okay so um we've spoken a little bit about sarcasm deadpan comedy uh awkwardness self-deprecating comedy mm -hmm. we'd be really intrigued to hear if you guys have anything similar um where you're from and yeah i think that's yeah. it yeah i think that is it. it feels like the end it does feel like the end yeah if you like the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh if you want to come back Remember to press the bell to know yes. when we're uploading videos. Yeah. Where is this bell? The bell is down beneath, next to the subscribe button. There's a little bell and click it. And when we upload a video, you'll get a notification being like, John Leah have uploaded another fantastic video. So what happens now if you subscribe? Nothing happens. Nothing. You'll just find it in your sub box. But if you click the bell, you'll actually be told when we upload. Okay. It's a big ask. But just click it. Just click it. Just click it. We'll promise you it'll be worth your while. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we will see you yeah. next week. Leave see a comment. Bye. Bye.